This little video segment today will be talking about using the if function, uh, specifically using it with the if function dialog box. Throughout our book, it's been teaching us how to use the if function by simply writing um, the formula out. I find for beginning Excel users and even for advanced Excel users, this gets to be a little cumbersome. So what I'd like to do today is show you how to use the if function by using the dialog box. And if you'd like to follow along in the book, we're on page 55. And I'll start with step one. I have the CMP reports Excel file open. Step two, it asks you to save the workbook appropriately. Now in step three, it starts out by asking you to write a formula with the if function by completing the following steps. And here's where we're going to deviate from the instructions just a little bit. Uh, what we're going to do is insert the if function in the cell that it asks us to insert it in, which is actually D5. Okay, but instead of writing the, the function itself, we're going to go to insert function here at the formula bar. And we're going to select the function, the if function. You can find this most of the time in the most recently used. If not, just choose the all, and they're alphabetically listed, so you can scroll down until you find it. There it is, the if function. We'll click OK. And here, the functions argument dialog box comes up for the if function. I just find this a lot simpler. So, our logical test is going to be if C5 is greater than B5. So if C5, our actual sales, is greater than our quota, then C5 is multiplied by 0.15 or 15% if the value, if this is true. If it is false, it's zero. So in other words, our logical test, we're going to start out by writing, or by clicking, C5 is greater than B5. And instantly you get an answer. Outside the logical test, it tells you the equals, this is equal to true. So that means this is indeed the, the case. C5 is greater than B5. So if this value is true, what's going to happen? We're going to multiply C5, our actual sales, by or times 0.15 or 15%. And there again, instantly you get an answer. This will equal $15,494.25. Now if this value happens to be false, then it's just the answer is zero. So what we're saying here, if somebody actually exceeds the quota of over $95,500, they will receive a bonus of 15%. If they do not exceed the quota, then it's just zero. They don't get a bonus. So after filling out the dialog box, we'll click OK. And after doing so, we can simply copy down the formula as needed. And there, you can see that the people that exceeded the quota did indeed get a bonus of 15%. Now, in step five, the book would like us to revise the formula to say that if the quota is exceeded, we'll get a 25% bonus. So what we can do in this case, there again is make D5 our active cell, and just simply click in here, the insert function button, and our dialog box pops up again, but everything is filled in because we've already written the formula. So to edit this, the value of true now instead of 15% is going to be 25% or 0.25. Let's click 
click OK. Once again, copy it down. And there you go. Everything's updated. I think you'll find this much easier to use than just writing out the if function by itself. Hope this helps out. Use this for the extra credit I'm going to put up. Um, try it out. See if this helps any. Let me know back on the, on the message board under the muddy points. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.